Hey, what's good everybody? It's CJ Beats. We're back at it again today. Today I was going to show you guys how you can uh, create pitch snare rolls in Logic Pro X using the Note Repeat. The Note Repeat is a tool uh, that came with Logic since 10.1. I'm currently running 10.2.4. That's the newest version of Logic. And, um, you know, so if you, you are in 10.2.4, um, then you should definitely be able to do this the same way I am. I'm going to give you the whole project file. Uh, with the drum sounds and whatnot, so you could just simply open it up and uh, see what I did and manipulate it if you want or try to recreate it. Um, but uh, yeah, to get started, I'm just going to let you hear what I created. Uh, it's a very simple, I just chose a uh, an apple loop here, uh, got a kick, a snare, and a hi-hat. And um, for the snare and the hi-hat, I use this uh, tool called the note repeat. So there's two ways of accessing note repeat. There's one way by just clicking on the tool button and then hitting note repeat here. Okay, so note re repeat would uh, come up then. Uh, but there's another easier way of doing it and that, you know, it's something that you can use a lot and that's a hotkey. In my case, I use the back, uh, the, in my case, I use the close bracket button to bring it up and to close it. All right, you could set that by clicking on Logic Pro X. I know you don't see that, but you're going to click Logic Pro X, then key commands and edit. And then you would go ahead and uh, it's already preset here, but you type in note repeat or just RE, note RE, and then it would appear. And as you can see here, the close bracket button, that's the one that I chose for that particular tool. But uh, the way to you know set your hotkey is by simply um, searching for that. Uh, selecting it and then going to learn by key position and then hitting that key on your keyboard uh, to utilize that button for this tool okay and uh, you can then simply just close it out or remember your settings and you're good to go so I'm gonna close my tools menu there and uh, bring up my note repeat one more time using the uh, close bracket button and um, I have the key remote set or turned on as you can see here, this menu appears below, and then you got all these different tempos, you know, one quarter, one eighth, one sixteenth, one thirty-two, and then you got your triplets too. And, uh, you know, that's definitely uh, something you want to utilize is triplets, a uh, combination of uh, triplets and regular uh, to, you know, make something very interesting in your drums, uh, be it a snare roll, your hi-hats. Um, so I'm going to let you hear what I got here. Again, I only used a, an apple loop, got a kick, a snare, and a hi-hat in here. Very simple. This is just for demonstration purposes. For a snare roll. So as you can see here, have these two snare rolls going on one at the fourth bar and one at the eighth bar and they're pitched you know so <clears throat> meaning they're uh, set in different uh, different keys it goes higher than lower than from really high to uh, low again da, 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 da. all right and what I did over here was also alternate the um, the volume levels uh, for that kick I'm sorry for that snare so it sounds a little bit more realistic. I um, actually picked up that technique from uh, this guy Warbeats back in the day. It's a very long time ago. Shout out to Warbeats. He makes FL Studio um, tutorials, so you should go check him out if you use FL Studio. All right, so very simple. Um, you know, like I said, just a eight bar um, setup here. But uh, yeah, I wanted to uh, basically remove my snare rolls and then recreate them again for you using the, um, let me close this up too, delete that. And I'm only leaving uh, the first three here, as you can see, the regular snares. And uh, then we'll go ahead and recreate the snare rolls in the fourth and eight bars. Uh, something simple first, then more complex uh, as the beat progresses. Uh, and then we'll also cover the... Um, the hi-hats and how I created them on this keyboard. I'm actually adding, so as you can see, this is something new I'm doing. I'm uh, recording, you know, my setup um, in addition to uh, the screen recording so that you have a better overview of what I'm doing. I think it definitely uh, will aid in uh, bringing my point across a little better. So anyway, let's uh, mute the um, hi-hat for now. And we're going to go ahead and work on these snare rolls, all right? 
So I'm going to just loop off uh, the first four bars here. And then let's go ahead and, uh, yeah, let's go ahead and work on that last fourth bar. So bringing up my note repeat tool, okay? And I have key remote enabled. Uh, one thing I wanted to mention is uh, you would want to, and this is for 10.2.4, like I said, that's the version I'm using of Logic. Um, you see how you can turn note repeat and spot erase on and off? Uh, for this for this purpose, I'm leaving these off. Um, I've had some trouble using these, so I'm not gonna really get into that on this tutorial, but uh, once I've got it figured out, I'll definitely uh, explain these, uh, these two. But for now, let's keep these turned off and then um, worry about these below. Okay, see how it says here C1? So on your keyboard, C1 is right here, right? But as a matter of fact, I noticed, and this might be just um, you know an error on Logic's part, you actually have to go down two octaves. So on your MIDI keyboard, you can use your plus and minus octave buttons and simply go down two octaves, okay? We're going down two octaves. And now this is truly C1, okay? So if I'm selecting this here, as you can see, a quarter note has been selected. If I click or if I press this key, one eighth note has been selected. This will always change up here, as you can see. 116, 132, 164, 128, 150, uh, 250, 1 256th. Um, and then you uh, go into your triplets, right? The triplets are indicated by this T here, one quarter note uh, triplet, uh, one eighth triplet, one sixteenth. And usually you want to stick to the range of one eighth through one thirty two, I guess you could say, for uh, snare rolls. Um, anything above that, you know, like one twenty eight uh, and then one two fifty six is really way too fast. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm, I mean, I'm not going to knock anybody that will try using that. Go ahead. But, uh, you know, it's a little bit easier doing it. Um, it's a little uh, better sounding, in my opinion, when you're using only 1 8 through uh, 132. So anyway, um, enough of that. Let's get into making this snare roll, this pitched snare roll. And when I say pitched, I don't know if I cover this already, but a pitched, uh, you know, snare is something like... Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and turn this off just so I can explain a pitched key, uh, snare to you. And um, let me see here. All right, so I got the snare here. See how I'm going down uh, the uh, the keys, and um, as it's playing, it's uh, playing a different pitch of that snare. Always lower, right? And with the uh, note repeat, I can go ahead and um, so I got something selected that's too fast. So we're gonna go uh, start with a quarter note. As you can see here, I'm just holding this down. And it's playing this uh, this snare every quarter note, one eighth, one sixteenth, one thirty two. All right. So again, that's the ones you want to stick with. So you could reference here. You know, C one is over here. So you know that one two three four is uh, the range that you can use for those normal um, tempos. And then you can go into the triplets by pressing these. So this is one quarter triplet. All right, and that'll give you a sort of an idea of what a, you know a pitch snare roll is. It'll sound something like this. But you can uh, also switch it up. So you have uh, one eighth. I mean, there's different combinations you could do. So let's go ahead and record this um, this pitch snare roll, and then uh, we'll work on the second part of that too. So let's go ahead and uh, hit Command R and uh, program that snare roll in. Okay, very simple. And uh, let's go ahead and program that second snare roll in. And we're going to make something more complex now. So I'm going to go with, uh, let's see here. Maybe something like that. So we're starting off with one quarter triplet and then going into one eighth triplet. 
Um, so let's go ahead and uh, record that portion first, one quarter triplet. That didn't record right, so let's try that again. Starting it a little higher. It was a little slow, so let's go ahead and try the one eighth triplet. I like that was better, but let's try something else. Much better. All right, so let's see how that came out with some duplicates over here. Let's get rid of those. Make that last one a little bit longer. Duplicate, get rid of that. Okay, that looks clean. And uh, let's go ahead and uh, turn that. Um, one on. We're gonna just unmute the uh, hi hats and let's play that and see what it sounds like. Very nice. So uh, now let's get into the hi hats uh, using the note repeat, right? Um, we were going to do that as well, so I'm going to show you that now. So what I'm going to do is just hold this down, and I'm using uh, one eighth note for this, and then we're going to go ahead and just freestyle uh, this hi hat by uh, changing the um, the rhythm to it. All right, something like that. Let's go ahead and uh, hit Command R to record. All right, that's pretty much it. And uh, look like it missed one note over there, so just add that in. What you could do too is, uh, you know, like change the pitch uh, in the MIDI region without using the keyboard. So let's do a pitched, uh, let's do a pitched hi hat. So I'm bringing those here, bringing those there, and we'll bring those a little lower too. Alright, see what that sounds like. It's good, but the volume is too loud, so what you can do is draw a line like that. Alright, so I hope you guys learned something in this tutorial. If you have any questions, you know what to do, put it in the comments section. I really appreciate you taking this time and watching this video. My name is CJ Beats. I'm out for now. Peace.